up you guys i'm nikisha wise welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel and y'all today i want to tell y'all about the fact that god will close your eyes and close your ears where you cannot see or hear certain demonic entities that could be trying to get you to look at them that way it can come in through your spirit you know, because a lot of the, the eyes are gateways and so are the ears. That's why you have to be careful what you listen to. That's why you have to be careful what you put your eyes on because the tricks of the enemy, like they have so many tricks up their sleeves and the Lord knows this. And the more we find out as well, that's, that's what make us and will help us to be more, you know, discerning and careful about what we put inside of our spirit. Okay. You know, for example... Because he, he, the Lord helps me with this all the time. You know, he, he allows us to see certain things, but there's also certain things he just will not allow me, allow me to hear or see. I could be looking right at the, the thing or the person or whatever, the picture or whatever it may be, but I can't see it. You know, the Lord protects us in that type of way as well. And another, for example, you know, with my hearing, this recently happened, you know, the, the Travis Scott interview. Y'all, I watched that whole interview and I really didn't hear anything that he said. Now, it's people that was able to hear it, maybe, and that's for a reason, but I could not hear him. Like, I heard his voice a little bit, but I couldn't understand a word he was saying. And the only thing I heard him say was that he was a man of God. And other than that, I didn't hear him say nothing else. I also watched another in I also watched a uh another video. I watched a video of a woman. She was um breaking down the interview and she was replaying the interview. I could not hear this dude like at all. So apparently there is something that he is saying or it's just something about his voice that the Lord will not allow me to hear. You know? And y'all have to keep that in mind as well. You are not crazy. That be the Lord protection. A lot of times he don't want you to see or hear certain things. Because he knows that that will, it will do something. It will shake something up in your spirit. You know, some people's spirits are more sensitive than others. Just like some people's spirits are, you know, stronger than others. But, well, you know, you can always build your spirit up. You can build a spirit up by doing certain things, by fasting and things like that. And as long as you're keeping your vessel pretty clean, for the most part, you'll be fine. But you still have to be careful. Um, with me, I know that I um, cannot eat certain stuff it will definitely open a gateway up for me. I cannot do it. <laughs> and that's for a reason. I don't want to eat this, some of those things anyway. So that works out good for me. That works out good in my favor. And certain things I cannot drink, it will mess with my spirit. It'll have my spirit, uh, like, you know, you all remember like an old TV, the TVs from back in the day, like you turn them on and they have that static in it. One time I remember actually hearing my spirit do that, like, Ch -ch -ch. It's like it had like a electric fuse or something going on with it. And, you know, I know they said some things, our body is electric and it's, and it's also alkaline as well. So you have to keep those things in mind. Um, I know some people, it's some people that hear this stuff and see these things and don't even know what it is. But thankfully, the Lord puts it in me and he helps me to understand what's going on with me. That way, and he'll tell me too. That way I'll know like, okay, well, don't eat that. Don't drink that. You know, like I said, when you start following God, he'll let you know like, okay, you need to limit this. You need to limit that. Try not to watch none of this. There's certain things on online I can't watch. I just seen something on TikTok the other day. I was like, uh-uh. I started feeling it certain feeling up in my spirit i said i don't see how certain people watch this like it is it is definitely a portal unless i'm in the wrong section all i'm doing is flipping though but that is a port that um site is a portal it's a lot of things that they doing on there i seen one girl her face switched into this demonic looking look and some for some people that will get inside of their spirit you know, because they don't, they looking at it and their eyes is windows. They they eyes and if they have that stuff open, it can definitely affect their energy and things like that, y'all. So I want you I want y'all to keep that in mind. Um it's nothing to be afraid of and don't be, you know, just I don't know the word for it. I can't think of the word for it, but 
just be careful what you're watching, what you um consuming, what you're taking in, because it definitely does affect the spirit. It affects the spirit. I think this is very fascinating, y'all. Um, the Lord is so impressive. You know, it's some more things he wanted me to talk to y'all about. The Lord is like every time he do something, I'm always like impressed. His it's nothing that he hasn't done that I would just like, you know. Okay. Now every time I'm like, wow every single time you know the way he moves and things like that the way he, the things just be set up and even the way things work on in the spirit realm is just fascinating to me and i want y'all to understand too that when god when god moves and he pushes us in these other directions it's always for our own good you know like i was mentioning before it's certain doors that he closes and it's meant to keep us out of harm's way you know, it's meant to keep us out of harm's way. And like I was saying, he will fix the way you can't even get up in that door anymore. Because he know that if you could get through that door, if, if he left anything open, that you would go right on in. So that's what he don't want, okay? I also want to say that, you know, God is always in control, but he's not going to make anybody come to him. He will keep on throwing it out there that he's that he exists. And he does send you messages and signs that he exists and that he wants you to come to him. You know, only the devil wants to control everything and everybody. God don't do that. You know, um, I've already told the Lord that, okay, well, I, you know, I do what you want me to do. I want you to drive, you know, like I was telling y'all before. But other than that, he's not going to make me do anything. You know, he'll tell you what to do. And if you don't do it and you feel it strong in your spirit, then... That's on you, you know. At the end of the day, that's on you. That's the reason why it's best to just walk with God because the things that we we think and that we feel in this world is nothing like what the Lord does. He is absolutely incredible. Um, he tells us not to lean on our own understanding about things. And a lot of times we can get in the mode where we try to understand things with our understanding, but it's far beyond our own understanding. A lot of us are very intelligent. But God is all wise, all wisdom. He's the great I am. And he when he gives you things, you know, it's always it's always great. It's it's never small, like I was saying before. It's never small. It's always huge. So yeah. But that's what I wanted to say, y'all. Um, God does not want to control anybody. Um he even though he's in control, but he's not gonna make you come to him you know he's he going to do that he's going to uh he's going to try to get you to come to him he ain't going to stop cuz you his child you know but he ain't going to sit up here and drag you by your collar and make you sit down with him and talk to him nope you have to go to him on your own that's what anybody would want i won't have to i wouldn't want to make nobody come to me i want them to come on their own that way i know okay well maybe it might be real then you done came to me so I ain't have to make you do anything or nothing. It feels more authentic, you know. Feel like, okay, well, this person chose me. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's all I want to talk about y'all today. Um, I'm about to enjoy this lake. I got to do a little shopping today. And I will talk to y'all later, okay? Bye-bye.